Hey everybody, I'm Christopher from Mercado, and today I'm going to be demoing WorkBot for Slack, and specifically a Jira request approval workflow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about WorkFlow for Slack. I'm going to demo a, the workflow in Slack, and then I'll show you just very briefly what the recipes look like in Mercado that we've used to build this workflow uh, and to dictate what it does. So really quickly, a little bit about WorkBot for Slack. So Slack bots are going to fall really into three categories. And the first one are native Slack integrations. And so these are going to be essentially Slack workflow rules that are going to allow you to manage workflow within Slack. The second one is what 90% of all Slack integrations are. They're either using a native integration uh, to push information into Slack uh, or using um, kind of a lightweight integration tool to do the same for applications that don't have a native integration to Slack or maybe you can put a little bit of information back from, you know, from Slack back into a source application, but that's pretty much it. So WorkBot for Slack is gonna be a lot more powerful. It's gonna allow you to build multi-application workflow and automation uh, across the organization. And it's gonna be extremely flexible. So pretty much <laughs> kind of the maximum is, uh, if, you can, if you can think it, you're gonna be able to build it on Workata because it's really just that flexible and that powerful. Slack use cases and WorkBot for Slack use cases are going to span across the business. They're going to be approval workflows, chat up workflows, sales and marketing workflows, support workflows. Uh, I encourage you to go on this, this page, workata.com slash workbot dash Slack, and take a look at some of the more common ones. Um, and it's worth noting here that Slack itself actually uses WorkBot for Slack to build their own internal Slack workflows. And they've actually got several hundred running everywhere from sales and marketing uh, you know, legal and HR, finance, ton of bots running on, on WorkBot for Slack that are, that are kind of managing internal process. What I'll also do is I'll also encourage you to go to WorkBot for uh, workcado.com slash solutions and take a look at our solutions marketplace. This is where we've packaged up some very common, um, some very common solutions and, and workflows that we see uh, across a lot of businesses. Uh, it's a great place to kind of see what other customers are doing and get an idea of, you know, where some opportunities for automation might be in your own business. So putting that aside, let's start the demo. <clears throat> so on the right here, I've got my, my Slack instance. And on the left here, I have Jira. So let's go ahead and I'll just, uh, I'll just refresh Jira here so you can see that there's no, no trickery that when we create an issue is in fact happening in real time. So I'm going to give WorkBot for Slack a command here. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say Jira create request. And so this is a command that we've configured. And <coughs> WorkBot, <coughs> WorkBot for Slack workflows can start with commands. They can start with uh, events in the source system. So for example, a Jira request gets created in Jira and it's got a specific signee or maybe a specific priority and you want to notify somebody or take action because of some information there that can kick off a workflow and it can also be kicked off on a scheduled basis so maybe every 9 a.m you want a summary of all the outstanding issues you want to present that in slack you can go ahead and do that so what it's done is i've created a request i do in fact want to create a new request and so i'm going to click yes <clears throat> what's going to happen it's going to pop up a dialog box here and one of the things to note is that we can actually take advantage of all of the native Slack functionality when we're building these workflows to kind of shape the interface to do exactly what you want it to do. So you can see I had buttons there. This is a dialog box. The dialog box has freeform text fields. And I'm gonna say, this is the pedal work bot demo. And I'm just gonna copy paste this and then John Snow is my manager here, and this is a high priority issue. And so all of this can be customized and dynamically populated to whatever you want, right? So you can have the list of managers pulling from Jira. It's going to populate this drop down menu. Your priority, your priorities might be different. Uh, you may want freeform text fields or drop downs for all of them. Whatever the case might be, this is all fully customizable. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And what this is going to do is, is take the information that I inputted and it's going to generate a new issue in Jira. And so if we go ahead and we go to Jira and we refresh, there it is. Here's the pedal workbot demo. You can see it's assigned to me and we've got all the information here. So 
The next step is this request requires approval. And we have essentially told the workflow that when somebody submits a request, we want approval before, before it passes on. And so <clears throat> we have a channel here specifically for that, JIRA request approvals. And what you've seen here is that it's posted, this is a public channel or a private channel where certain people have been invited. A request has been created and needs to be approved. You can see that we've pulled in all the information that we might need from, uh, from JIRA and we can actually have a link here that's gonna take us back to the JIRA issue at stake. And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prove this. And so it's popped up, uh, it's created a thread, I've got a response. And if we take a look at it, what you'll see is that <clears throat> I am actually not allowed to approve this. So there are multiple people in this channel, some might be allowed to approve and some might not. And so if I try to approve or reject it and I'm not authorized to, um, you know, it's gonna recognize my Slack handle and I'm not on the list of approved uh, approvers, so to speak, and so it's it's going to reject it, and it's actually going to take that information and present it into a thread, so we don't kind of clutter up the interface here. So if I go here on the left and I go into John Snow's Slack account, you'll see that here we are. Here was my attempt, my unauthorized attempt, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to approve that. And now it's been approved, and in fact. The original requester has also got a notification to close this loop. That's a really simple kind of one application workflow. It only involves, uh, only involves JIRA, but I think it shows a, a nice example of approvals of, you know, leveraging native Slack functionality to create workflows uh, and actually, you know, taking information and writing it into another system. So just really quickly, in case you're curious, if that's all you wanted to see, you can pause the video now. But if you're curious to kind of see some of the recipes that, that go on behind the scenes that build this workflow, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like now here. And so this is Workato, and there are basically five recipes that manage this particular approval workflow. And <clears throat> I'll go into one of them and just kind of show you a little bit of what this looks like. And so all of these uh, recipes have all been built using our drag and drop interface. It's all natural language, no coding's necessary. Uh, but it's extremely flexible. And so we can in fact even read this first recipe kind of like a script, Jira approve request, command a Slack work pot. Uh, if the cancel trigger is present, we're gonna post a message. If not, we're gonna get the issue, uh, the issue uh, details from Jira and post a message to Slack from Slack work pot. So this is just a little taste of what Workato looks like behind the scenes. There's obviously a lot more detail in terms of configuring uh, what information goes where and how it looks and what logic you wanna have uh, and if you're kind of curious to see more and dig into this, or you want to talk about specific use cases, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly at Christopher at Thanks a lot for your time and have a great, uh, great rest of your day. <clears throat>